You would think I'd be an old pro at the microphone by now. Hello and welcome to the sixth annual WCI Film Festival and Lecture Series. Before I introduce this afternoon's speaker, there are a few people we need to thank. This year's festival is in partnership with the University at Albany Program in Writing and Critical Inquiry, the University at Albany Office of the Vice Provost and Dean of Undergraduate Education, the University at Albany Libraries, and the American Red Cross of Northeastern New York. We are co-sponsored by the University of Albany Vice President for Research, the New York State Writers Institute, the University of Albany Alumni Association, the University of Albany Auxiliary Services, the University of Albany Department of English, the University of Albany Department of Anthropology, the University of Albany Department of Literatures, Languages, and Culture, the University of Albany Red Cross Club, and Humanities New York with support from the National Endowment for the Humanities. The 2021 festival explores one of the world's most popular and enduring images, the vampire. Its folklore comes to us from almost every continent and has inspired hundreds of films from around the globe, not to mention novels, short stories, plays, TV shows, fine arts, comic books, and more. Because it is so universal, the vampire has provided a powerful metaphor for prescient matters from imperialism to the AIDS pandemic, Black Lives Matter to the Me Too movement, arts and immortality to the death and decay of affect. As Bram Stoker scholar Nina Arbach has said, every age embraces the vampire that it needs. This year's festival benefits the American Red Cross of Northeastern New York. To help them do the amazing work that they do, we have partnered with the U Albany Red Cross Club. There is donation information in the back of the room, and remember that every cent can help save a life. Now for this afternoon's speaker. Professor Rick Barney researches and publishes in the areas of 18th century British plots of enlightenment, education and the novel in 18th century English studies, critical and cultural theory, gender studies, and film. He is currently working on several product projects, including Subliminations, a book-length study of the links between early modern and medical thinking, and representations of sublimity in 18th century lit literature. Sublimity. That's a hard word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on an essay on Edmund Burke's revision of contemporaneous ocular physiology. physiology and a collection of interviews with the filmmaker David Lynch. He teaches graduate courses on 18th century fiction, philosophy, and criticism, and contemporary critical theory. He teaches undergraduate courses on cultural studies, 18th century British literature, and film. He has published widely on subjects from rhetorics of play to education, identity, and constructions of the novel, and is the recipient of a National Endowment for the Humanities Fellowship, a Health End Fellowship, a Newbery Library Short-Term Fellowship, an American Society for 18th Century Studies Fellowship, a UC Santa Barbara Research Fellowship, an Oklahoma Foundation for Humanities Grant, and a South Central Modern Languages Association Fellowship. In addition, he created a film and museum installation about South African-born author J.M. Coetzee and winner of the 2003 Nobel Prize in Literature. It is a pleasure to invite him to the stage today to introduce this afternoon's film and after the screening, Professor Barney will interview director Faye Jackson, so please stick around. Thank you, Ray. Uh, very good to be here, and uh, you're in for a very different sort of movie, if you're at all conversant in what vampire films are about. Uh, the director of this film, Stravoy, is by the Scottish writer-director named Faye Jackson. And she works a great deal in horror and fantasy, uh, drawing a lot of inspiration from folklore and fairy tales, which I think is part of the reason why Ray finds this also so very interesting. She's also the founder of Touch Peace Productions, which has uh, developed the majority of her films to date. Um, her breakthrough film was a short, a body horror movie called Lump. That's currently available, by the way, on Touch Peace Productions, just to go stream, as has most of her short films. Um, it came out in 2006, and most notably appeared at the New York Film Festival, uh, Twin with Pan's Labyrinth. So that was the beginning of her gaining uh, international notice. Uh, she moved then to shoot her feature, Stragoy, which came out in 2008, um, which is about what she describes as the real Romanian vampires in rural Romania, in which she used uh, 
you might not be able to tell this because of how good their English is, but she used all uh, native Romanian actors for the main roles. Um, Stergoi has won over 15 festival awards, including Best Independent Film at the Toronto After Dark Festival and the Méliès d'Argent at Neuchâtel Fantastic Film Festival. Uh, more recently, Jackson has produced a number of short films, which include The Old Woman Who Hid Her Fear Under the Stairs, 2017, another one called Changeling in 2019, currently available on YouTube, by the way, for streaming, and Snowflakes in 2019. Uh, these have also played at numerous festivals uh, worldwide, including the New York Film Festival, the Fantastic Fest, Fantasia, and Sitkus, uh, and they also have won awards uh, along the way. Jackson is currently developing a number of feature projects, and many of those are drawn from her shorter films that she has already uh, released. And the projects underway that she describes include The Fisherwoman and the Sea. Then there's a sci-fi satire of Snowflakes, which will be developed for the short version. A fairy tale horror film called Eldridge Crew, and also a horror film titled There. Which one may be coming out first, or where they are in development? Uh, but it's obvious that she's a very impressively active uh, person working in film. Just a few comments, which is not going to, I think, produce anything like a spoiler. Um, when it comes to Roy, which we're going to watch here next. I think it's uh, probably advisable to abandon nearly everything you think you know about vampires or vampire films. Um, what's really intriguing is the way Jackson draws on what she expects us to expect and then turns it in different ways depending on her source, which is the sorts of stories that have been told in uh, rural Romania. The film's trailer suggests something like this, uh, when it ends with a bracing statement, quote, real vampires don't just drink your blood. And you'll find out just what that means this afternoon, including, you'll know, you won't be able to miss it, what happens in the kitchen. So uh, all I would say is that uh, take in everything possible, because it won't meet your automatic assumptions, and also please Stay after because we're going to have a conversation with uh, Faye Jackson while she's still in Britain via Zoom. And we'll also have folks able to ask questions in addition to Ray and I talking to her. So, again, welcome, and I hope you get a kick out of Stregoy. Thanks.